Welcome to the Archive Store here at the National Army Museum. I'm Tasha Swainston and I'm responsible for looking after all the amazing archive collections that we hold. Collections that tell the soldier's story. Our collections are housed in specially built archive stores that are light, temperature and humidity controlled. The archive store is adjacent to the Templar Study Centre, meaning that generally our collections are instantly accessible. The Templar Study Centre collection consists of over 100,000 archives, 240,000 photographs, 58,000 periodicals and books, and 3,760 maps and charts. Our archives and photographs collection alone equates to around 622 linear metres, that's roughly six football pitches in length. We hold a wealth of resources that can be used for researching the history of the British Army and the soldiers that have served in it ranging from the history of a regiment to an individual soldier's experience to the high-level decisions made by eminent military figures. Alongside the archive and photograph collections in our archive store, you will find an extensive collection of books and periodicals that is continually growing. The periodicals collection offer a unique resource as they are written by soldiers for soldiers. In the archive, you will uncover letters, diaries and photograph albums that capture the daily life of soldiers in wartime and provide unique insight into some of the most important campaigns in the history of the British Army. The letters held in our collection offer a valuable insight into the lives of soldiers fighting on the front line. They capture moments of loss, loneliness and reflection. I'd like to read for you an extract from a letter written by Lance Corporal Booth to his parents in 1944. The letter offers a fascinating insight into the life of a soldier during the Second World War. Those few weeks at home by no means made up for that lapse of an almost equal number of years, as far as such things as these are concerned. I'm still living in an outdated memories, and anything that tends to upset these memories seems to annoy me. I suppose this is because, no matter how much we fool ourselves, things will never, can never, be the same again. Ah heck, what's gotten into me? With apologies. It's now dark and I can't see to write more, so good night, love Jack. They also include accounts of acts of kindness and love, hobbies and travel, as well as reflections on what is going on in wider society. The Archive Store is home to the soldier's story, from general through to private. This is the first of a series of videos from the Archive Store, in which we will look at highlights in our archive collections. In the meantime, please feel free to check out all the amazing content we have on our website.